What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Monday, even though we lost in bad fashion uh, yesterday to the Green Bay Packers. Um, I dare say history repeats itself in many, many ways. Um, I, I kept feeling funny. You know, I, I remember hearing people say, I hope Cooper rushes in by the fourth quarter because we're just blowing them out. And I was just like, pump your brakes because a game that I have stuck in my head forever has been the Green Bay Packers versus Cowboys game against Matt Flynn in 2013. And what's interesting about that game is um, there's a lot of similarities to what happened yesterday. In that game, we threw the ball, Tony Romo, 48 times, 358 yards, two TDs, two interceptions, um, and lost. But the thing about that game was it was 26-3 to three at the halftime. We threw the football more than the Green Bay Packers did trying to come back. And it was two interceptions in the second half that basically helped to set up green bay to win the game the thing about that game and i kept talking about it for years and still have been talking about it is that game if we had just run the football and literally not not, not gained a yard not gained a yard we would have ended up still winning because there wouldn't have been enough time for them to come back because here's the thing if you run the ball and you stay in bounds you can take off about 40 seconds off the clock. So if you end up doing that, three runs, no first down, and then by the time you punt, you're taking off about four minutes each time you do that. If you pass the ball and it's incompletion, you're taking off eight seconds. And that's exactly what happened in that game. We had so many incompletions in the second half. We had the two interceptions. It gave the Green Bay Packers time to come back. Some people are saying, you know, that this is the worst loss, you know, the Cowboys because they gave up a 14-point lead um, to the Packers. I dare say I remember, um, I think it was Santana Moss with the Washington Commanders that came back from a 13 to nothing in the fourth quarter game that hurt just as bad too but this is the one that drives me crazy but be that as it may i'll come back to that in a minute this is one of those things that i want you to take your dallas cowboy hater glasses off i want you to take your dak prescott hater glasses off too okay dak had a couple bad passes hey everybody does everybody does Kirk Cousins had a couple of bad interceptions too, but their team was you know, good enough and had the breaks enough to come back and win yesterday. Now, this is where you have to start looking at this and saying, beyond our defense giving up 200 yards on the ground, beyond the two interceptions and things, we still had a chance. But the final nail in the coffin was the damn officials. Okay? Now, again, take your haters' glasses off. Because I want you to mind you, we had a first down, first down, and we're going and doing things great. And we get earlier, a couple of plays earlier than this, a holding penalty that you look at and you kind of say, are you sure that that's holding? I need to go back through and get that one to go ahead and compare because I look at this play right here and it pisses me the hell off that you called holding on us and made it now first and 19. And then you don't call illegal contact or pass interference on this play. See, this is a bullshit because when you have games, how would the Cowboys be different? How would the Cowboys be different had Des Bryant's catch been ruled a touchdown? Maybe Aaron Rodgers carries him down the field. They score a touchdown and win. I don't know. But I often wonder, had the Buffalo Bills made that field goal made that field goal against the new york giants if then all of a sudden they're not a four-time loser if maybe they're actually winning all those super bowls because see i want you to look at this play i want you to look at this okay and we're going to show this to you 
at a couple of different speeds and bringing it up closer. Now you watch this. Doesn't that? Didn't that look like before the ball got there? His hands were already wrapped around his arms. Now, keep in mind, the holding call, they said his hands were a little bit outside, and he's driving him forward. He's, dri- he's It's not like the guy was running away and he had his... No, he was driving the guy forward. Let's watch it again, slow down some. Let's watch it again, slow down. Okay, CD makes his cut. Left arm is now on his arm. Right arm is over his shoulder and is through the whole throw. Watch it again. This is slowed down again and zoomed up. Look at this. Now watch. The ball's not there yet. He punches and grabs the arm. He's right there in the elbow, and now he's got the other hand on the back. Well before the ball gets there. You're going to tell me that this isn't pass interference? Look at it again. Look at this again. You're going to tell me that's not pass interference? That's a bullshit. That is straight up bullshit. Watch the whole thing again. Watch it. Look at this. That's in real time. Don't tell me that, oh, well, it had nothing to do. You know, we, we want to let him play. You want to let him play. You want to let him play. This is as bad as Jalen Ramsey curling up Michael Gallup's hand, and we get called for offensive pass interference. And at some point, you have to start looking at this saying there is an agenda against the Dallas Cowboys. That call is made. That call is made right there. Here's what happens. Because people say, oh, well, that doesn't mean you win the game. Well, I tell you what. You got a new set of downs. It's about four and a half minutes left. You're in field goal range now with a new set of downs. Even if you run the ball three times, three times, you could either force Green Bay to use their two timeouts or you tick the clock down to the point where there's not much time left. That right there killed the game for the Cowboys. At some point, you can't overcome everything, including the officials. And don't tell me, don't tell me that when you see Micah Parsons being held left and right, guys got him around his neck and pulling him backwards, that, oh, just stop complaining about the officials. Your team just sucks. Yeah, we suck against the officials because there's not jack crap we can do about it. And this is where literally Jerry Jones is 100% right that the officials are blind or biased. I don't know which one's worse. Either way, we get screwed. All right, good people. I'm just sick of this shit. I'm just sick and tired of this because that play right there, it's all the difference in the world. You got the ball on the 25 yard line right there, first down. If you're not telling me that's not a game changer, then I guess I just don't know anything. I'll see you guys for the Commanders Eagles game in about an hour. Peace.